Did you know that sodium ion batteries are not only cheaper, but also more efficient than traditional lithium ion ones? Recognizing their potential, the Chinese automotive powerhouse BYD is making bold moves with a $1.4 billion investment to establish a cutting edge sodium ion battery facility in Suzhou. Exciting, right? It's just what you'd expect from Tesla's fiercest competitor in the EV game. Enjoying the content? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates. Join us for more insights and exciting news. Be part of the community today. But what's driving this shift, and what could it mean for the industry? Let's dive in. Not only has the Chinese giant surpassed Tesla in EV sales, but it's also claimed the title of the world's largest electric car maker. And yet, BYD isn't stopping there. In addition to leading the EV charge, BYD is breaking barriers in battery innovation. As one of the top global battery manufacturers, it's constantly pushing for smarter, greener, and more cost-effective energy solutions. Their ambitious plans include a facility capable of producing 30 gigawatt hours of sodium ion batteries annually, tailored for micro EVs and scooters. And BYD isn't tackling this alone. Its subsidiary, FinDream's battery, has joined forces with tricycle giant Haig Group to build the Suzhou sodium battery plant. The two companies sealed the deal in Shenzhen on November 18th, envisioning Suzhou as a bustling hub for compact EV battery production. These sodium ion packs are perfectly suited for small electric vehicles, making this partnership a game changer in the market. This partnership could result in positive outcomes because it isn't the first time BYD and Hague Group have joined forces. Previously, in November 2022, they collaborated to construct a standard battery plant in Suzhou. The primary product of this facility is blade batteries, which utilize lithium iron phosphate LFP chemistry. Together, the companies made a hefty investment of 10 billion yuan to make this project a reality. The groundwork began in January of the previous year, and the construction of this massive factory, spanning 310,000 square meters, is almost complete. Trial production is anticipated to commence by March 2024. This successful partnership provides a solid foundation for their current and future collaborations in the EV and battery manufacturing industry. Previously, Rumors were circulating that the BYD Seagull would be the first vehicle off the production line to contain a sodium ion battery. These whispers sparked excitement in the EV industry, as such a development would have marked a significant milestone. However, when the car made its debut in April, it was equipped with a standard LFP blade battery from BYD, not the anticipated sodium ion battery. This switch seemed to put an end to the rumors, and BYD has stayed relatively silent on the subject since the launch. The company has not yet made any further comments or clarifications regarding the initial rumors or their future plans for sodium ion batteries in their EV range. So, what are the possible benefits of sodium ion batteries? While these batteries might not be the best fit for larger electric vehicles due to their lower energy density, they do hold promise in other areas. Specifically, they could become a preferred choice for lower-end, short-range vehicles. This is because such vehicles do not necessarily require high energy density, as their primary use does not involve long-distance travel. Additionally, sodium-ion batteries could provide a viable solution for power grid energy storage. In this context, the size of the battery isn't a significant hindrance. Power grid storage requires the capability to store a substantial amount of energy rather than the compactness of the battery. Therefore, sodium ion batteries, with their unique characteristics, could meet this demand effectively, offering a feasible alternative to lithium batteries. According to Bloomberg NAF, adopting sodium batteries could significantly lessen the strain on lithium resources. Specifically, projections suggest that by 2035, sodium could reduce lithium demand by approximately 272,000 tons. The success of sodium ion batteries is based on enhancing the cycle life of these cells, that is, the number of times they can be charged and discharged before requiring replacement. 
On average, sodium cells currently boast a life cycle of about 5,000 cycles. This is actually impressive but still falls short when compared with the most cost-effective lithium products that offer around 7,500 cycles. Bridging the gap between the life cycle of sodium ion and lithium ion batteries is the main challenge. Duo Fu, an analyst at Rystad Energy, says that if this hurdle can be overcome, there could be a rise in demand for sodium ion batteries. Currently, the sector of sodium-based cell production appears to be primarily under the influence of Chinese manufacturers. With a stronghold over the majority of lithium battery production, Chinese producers enjoy a competitive edge. This dominance stems from the scale of their operations, which subsequently allows for lower operational costs. Large-scale operations are key for reducing production costs, a significant advantage that Chinese manufacturers have over European and American competitors. This cost-benefit enhances the competitive edge of Chinese manufacturers in the worldwide market, making it tough for other manufacturers to compete at the same level. So, with BYD's shift to sodium ion production, the sector is likely to witness a significant change in the competitive landscape. This shift is expected to bring forth new opportunities for manufacturers, especially in terms of meeting the growing demand for energy storage solutions. This industry shift will also drive further research and development on sodium ion batteries, potentially improving their overall performance and cost effectiveness. Let me know in the comments section below. What's your take on the potential of sodium ion batteries in the energy storage market? Do you think this step will make BYD a dominant player in the industry, or will it open doors for other manufacturers to catch up? And what impact will this have on Tesla? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, also check out the video suggested on your screen. You'll enjoy it.